stuff in here. Another Antifa news brief for August 18th, 2021. Will to fight part two. This is just about them saying that the Afghan army didn't have the will to fight. And about how the army is kind of like the police of the world is what they call it. And how our police system is supposed to be the people that you've given, you know, the power to protect people. So they have the will to fight if, if necessary. Unfortunately, the way we've done it, we've raised, you know, we've produce these terrorists and murderers um, in the police departments that, you know, have the will to fight and are using it for all the wrong reasons. Um, and, you know, it's not a good thing. It's, it's the will to fight in this case is a very bad thing. So why should we be trying to give people the will to fight when you take a step back from it? Or if you look at uh, the Republicans in America always demonize gang violence, which is bad. Nobody's a fan of gang violence. It's not good. People wish gang violence would stop. But when you think about why gang violence happens, if the police are terrorizing and traumatizing a population and they can't fight back against the police, traumatized, terrorized people end up hurting other people, um, you know, terrorizing each other, uh, terrorizing other people. That's the root of it. The root of it is is terrible policing um, and you know poverty, but terrible policing is what enforces and you know, makes poverty worse. Um, you know, it's an integral part of it. Um, racism is the the root of all this problem. Now, that's not how they made the Taliban. It's not like having the oppressive, um, an oppressive occupying military force in Afghanistan produced the Taliban, but America did produce the Taliban, like literally by. You know, getting Osama, Reagan brought Osama bin Laden over and funded him to fight Russia or the USSR back in the 80s when they were invading Afghanistan. So they do end up making, or just like they make the, uh, the gangs and deport people to make the gang problems in South America that make people want to migrate to America, they're creating these problems by a violent and, you know, weaponized culture. So we can take the violence and weaponization out of culture and grow a more loving, caring, communal culture, which is what anti-fascism is all about. Uh, we can do that to end war. We can defeat war itself because you don't win war. War is obsolete now. It's just a big waste. But we can defeat war with not war. So that's what we should be focused on. And we can do it. Um, Thanks for watching. This is your Antifa News Brief. I'm Puffin. And it's all about, like, the will to not fight. The will to make peace. Because if we're not putting our efforts into violence, if we're putting our efforts into uh, befriending people and talking things out and getting, you know, like, getting people's trust and showing people we have their best interests um, and leading by example, and being introspective and doing the best we can ourselves to have to set the best example. That's where we really win. Thanks for watching. See you soon.